What's up guys, this is Forrest Knight and we are here to create our storyboard and like I said yesterday, first what we're going to do is figure out what we want to have in our app and just a few things that we're going to go over today I've decided I want a, a login login screen, since it's going to be like a social media app, I want a login screen a sign up screen so if you know if you're returning you log in if otherwise you sign up just like anything else the ability to edit profile and then your actual profile and since this is like a stock market app uh, I'm going to base it off of this app called stock twits just so I don't give away too much like I said like I said in my last two videos you know I can't give away too many, too many details regarding this application so I'm going to basically write a storyboard of stock twits and it's going to be very it's very similar to the app that I'm creating but definitely big features that I'm that that I'm going to implement into mine so another deal we're going to have is hot stocks and then with pro and then uh we're going to have hot stocks and then our watch list of stocks. And it's okay if you don't know too much about stocks. Basically, a watch list, you know, like the stock market has uh, stocks like Facebook and Amazon and, and a lot of other ones. Watch list is just ones that you save onto a list that you are currently watching. So we're going to start off with the login. And I'm just going to guess the size of, of a screen. You know, as long as it's around there, it should be okay. So here is the login and the sign up page. As you see here, this is similar to Instagram's login because I really like theirs. I'm not I'm not sure if it still looks like this or if it looks like this when you guys are watching. But basically this is what it's gonna be. Here is you know your company logo and then your your company name or your app name, your app logo and your app name I should say. You know, just something to grab their attention, log in to share and receive stock ideas, basically saying what your app does. Here we have selected login. As you can see the bar will be highlighted under login right here and if you're logged out of course you'd be at the screen so you select login you'd enter your username and password if you forgot your password you'd click forget and then you once you enter those you click go or you log in with Facebook and and that's just you know basic login screen but you have to make sure that it fits your your application if you need a login screen so you, you can't you have to make sure you write off every little thing that's why I'm doing the login and sign up in this video because those are things you can't forget about if, you, if you're going to require someone to log in or else they can't use your application. Down here is the sign up. So I didn't, want to, I didn't want to draw this all over again. So basically imagine this. I pick it up and I put it over this. So if you click on sign up, this bar will be highlighted right here under sign up. Whoops. Ignore that. Sign up. And then... So that's this is this sign up is that sign up. So just imagine this right there. Like I said, you know, you enter your full name, email address, username, password. I should probably have a confirmed password so you don't type in the wrong one. And then you click, click go or sign up with Facebook. So just basic login and sign up screens. And the the edit profile is going to be a basic uh, edit profile screen as well. Let me draw that out. So like I said, basically a normal edit profile page. I believe this one is similar to Instagram's as well. So here as you can see I'm doing a lot of, you know, Instagram has a very good interface so I'm using similar to theirs. But once I create mine, actually I'll probably adjust, you know, certain things that pertains to, to my specific app. Right now we don't want to focus on every little detail like, oh maybe, maybe this full name 
you know, maybe I should make this a little bit different here. Let's get the basic idea and then we'll make the little tweaks after we have a, a basic application or else you'll get stuck up on the little details and you'll be stagnant and you want to make sure that you are, you know, being productive. So basically, like any, you're able to cancel, you're able to click done after you change things. You enter your full name, your username, and you can enter your bio. Since this is a stock trading app, I could also enter somewhere to say what kind of trader you are. Um, in, in the stock world, you know, you can be an investor, you can be a day trader, which means you, you, you buy and sell stocks within the same day. You could be what's called a swing trader, which means you buy a stock, hold it for a couple days or a couple weeks, and then you sell it. But I don't need to get into all into that, but I'm just saying, you know, I would add something like that in order to make it specific to my application. So we've done login, sign up, edit, now profile. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the profile because I don't want it to look like just any other one. I want it to be, I have something in mind, so let me show you that. So this would be the profile page. Basically your name would be up here and you would have a picture around here. You'd have a follow button. This could be, let's say, your reputation points. You know, say if you're a good trader, then they, people want to give you reputation points. You know, you give them good advice, so they give you reputation points, so you're reputable within the app. That's something that I think I may implement in my app. And then it has your actual name, so pretend this is a username, like, like let's say Night Trades, this is stock trading, let's say it's Night Trades, down here would be your actual name, or, or the same name, whatever you want to do, but it would suggest you put your, your real name, and then your small bio here, you have your following, your followers, your numbers, and let's say you have a subscription app, so you add in subscribers. Your subscribers pay a couple bucks a month in order to get you know something extra from you that you're offering so they subscribe, they pay and you know you you're able to make money and whatnot. But then here's your feed down here and you're able to scroll you know you're able to take your finger like this and then scroll and see their past you know your their past posts. So as you can see, a lot of this is very basic, but you want to make sure you you create some type of storyboard so you can see it in your mind. And eventually what you want to do is say, all right, once I click go, I go down to this. And then once I go through all this, I click done, I go up and see what it actually looks like on my profile. And then once I, you know, let's say down here, this is probably a good idea, is to have, that's probably a small bar, but is to have something like something like this. So, you know, Instagram they have uh, explore page here. They have your feed right here. Uh, you're able to post a picture right here. And then uh, what else do they have? You know what they what whatever else they have over here. Have a bar like that maybe. And then say if I click on this, I'll go over to this page. You know, eventually get to that. That's basically the idea of the storyboard. I have actually created. I've created a more in-depth storyboard that has to do a lot more specific to my app. Let's cross out profile. This, that has a lot more specifics to do with my app that I don't really want to show online just yet. Sorry I'm secretive. It's just, you know, if you have a good idea, you don't want to share with everyone because you want to be able to build it. You know, ideas, uh, everyone has ideas, but those who implement it are really the ones who are going to be successful. And I'm trying to implement it now. I don't... I don't need or want 10, 20, 100, 1,000 other people trying to implement my app along, you know, into the market while I do. So, I hope you understand. But then, you know, you create other pages, other pages that are specific. So, your, your full-on feed. In this case, you know, you can have the, the stocks. So, you can click, say, like right here, you're able to click on this and you're able to go to the to the Facebook page like in StockTwits and then it has everyone that has talked about Facebook and, and and things like the Facebook stock not like actual Facebook it takes you to Facebook stock page or if it's Amazon it takes you to the Amazon stock page which is within the app it just shows the price 
a chart of it and what people have said, and you can follow, you can add it to watch list and stuff. But that's basically the storyboard. I highly recommend that you that you create a storyboard in order to help you out, and that'll that'll be the next step. I haven't done too much with the online course, the Udemy Mark Price course, but I plan on diving right into that tomorrow. It's it's pretty late right now. I'm not sure what time. But it's kind of late right now, so I have a couple other things I need to do. And then I want to hit the ground running. I, I like to be able to set aside at least an hour when it comes to doing or learning something. Because a lot of times it'll take, especially especially with programming, it takes you 30 minutes to kind of get in the groove. That's why they say never interrupt a programmer, because it takes you a certain amount of time to get in the groove. And then you can get the ball rolling out, there on out. Tomorrow we'll go over the course a little bit more, the online course. I haven't looked at it too much, but I'm sure there will be an, a simple app that we're going to create. I'm going to go through the Swift videos tomorrow. I, I need to see how long it'll take. Hopefully we can get to the first app, the first simple app to create tomorrow. If not, it'll be the next day and we'll, we'll just talk a little bit about, about everything tomorrow. You know, go over a little bit of the, the Swift syntax and then we'll be able to create a simple app. I'm not sure, so sure that we'll have to do this with a simple app, but you know, we'll, we'll go along with the course and, and see how that goes. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and have a good one.